Uh, I mean, he was talking crazy to one of my teammates, DA, and I was just talking crazy to him. He can't talk like that. You can tell a player to sit down, whatever, but you're not going to call a player the B word and uh, and try to take away his manhood on the court. That's not right. So I saw him say that, and I just went at him, and then he got kicked out as he should. Um, I think because of the rise of social media, fans think they know you and they can just talk to you crazy like we wanted a friends or something. And it's not like that. We humans, too. You know what I'm saying? So if we weren't famous and you saw it, you wouldn't talk to us, a regular person walking in Chipotle like that. You know what I'm saying? So just the fact that they feel that they can talk to us like that and the fact that us now, I feel like we're a lot more mature, I feel like, to where we're, we're not afraid to talk back and tell you what's right. So it's just different, I guess. Is that a pretty simple process for you guys, like pointing someone out to security? Maybe? For sure. For sure. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a friendly, it's a game in the long run. You know what I'm saying? And it's and for them to disrespect us, uh, I mean it's stupid on their part. They pay good money to come see us. And if you don't wanna if you wanna waste your money talking crazy, you're gonna you're gonna miss out. I feel like they they've been doing a great job this year. Uh yeah, they doing a great job. Campaign recently, it seems like he's really gotten more comfortable and, you know, mm -hmm. slowing down. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really admiring his poise. Um, I'm really admiring him getting these uh double doubles with assists and, and, and really facilitating and finding the players. He's usually uh playing at a rapid speed, he still has that speed, but he's starting to figure out how to slow it down, chop it up, and then and but but still keep that that uh that, that speed. One of the things that's Right. For sure. I'm sure I'm sure it's a challenge not to premeditate what you want to do and the moves that you usually do um as a point guard. Um but yeah, he's definitely been getting better at that and, and reading the defense before he uh premeditates his moves. I wanted to ask about Chris, see, not sure. Is that a good sign, right? That's a great sign. Yeah, that's a great sign. Great sign. Jamel Dario's not someone you've played with yet, but getting his rehab done, he's always there at the games. How have you seen him kind of stay involved while he gets Oh, there? Dario's locked in. He's there. He's here early getting his work in. Um, he's on the bench with us, cheering us on. He's in the huddle uh, with us when we do our little pregame thing. So he's been a part of the team the whole time. Have you noticed that just helps the team when a guy spends time with the team when he could easily just like be rehabbing? For sure, for sure. I, I've been in a situation where I didn't know at the time uh, how important it was when you're injured to stay with the team, and I was more separated from the team. And I, I didn't. And looking in hindsight, you know that's 2020. You, I, I wish I had been more involved with the team when I was injured. Yeah, let's step back south to Miami. I've seen a lot of times. I just felt like it was something that the defense gave me. Uh, I mean, it's not a shot I shoot a lot uh, in the situations that I'm put in, but it was just the right shot that I felt at the time. Uh, did you feel like uh, you see more of that, though? I mean, you know, the defense gives you that. We see a lot more. Uh, I mean, I, it wasn't premeditated, so I don't know what we're going to see more of. We're going to see more of me working hard, uh, making the right plays um, on offense and defense and just being uh, the efficient player that I, I've always been. Definitely the most efficient player in the league, for sure. Look at this. What the team was able to do despite the injuries. How much of that is talent? How much of that is coaching? How much of that is coaching? It's, it's, it's 25% of each. You know what I'm saying? Coaching, culture. Uh, our depth, uh, just it's, it's an equal amount of each of how, how talented we are. And then the way we're going out there and, and playing uh, without some of the, the biggest stars on our team or some of the most contributors on our team and still dominating teams is even scarier, to tell the truth. So I can't wait till we, we finish these games off the right way and get into that playoff run.